Hey guys, it's Thread Up Fun Box time. Hey friends, listen guys, we've got another humongous box from Thread Up for the Fun Box. So, I sure hope there's something nice in here. <laughs> this is the box, okay? It is humongous. So, we have to open this. I'm dying to see what's in here, guys. Let's see. I don't know if you can see me opening it, but I'm opening it. <laughs> Watch your finger. I ain't got my finger. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I don't know what to do with him anymore. Okay. Oh, wow. I got my little invoice here. And this was $34. $9.99 shipping and taxes. <laughs> Ten pieces or more, supposedly. Okay, let's see here. We got a half a piece of bubble wrap. <laughs> Let me see where this came from, guys. Hold on, I always forget to tell you guys. I'm sorry. Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. That's where the last two came from. <laughs> okay. Well, let's pull this out and give it to Bert. And that's our first look. It is full, but it's a really light box. Big, light, fun box. That's what it is. So, I'm going to put it down here. Good idea. Because it's easier for me to maneuver around it okay so the first thing in here is a balcony privacy screen hey <laughs> it's beige like a sandy beige color wow that's really weird i that's a whole room then right yeah Wow, I can go outside and the mosquitoes won't suck me to death. <laughs> Brand new and it's called Love Story. This says 3 inch by 10, in no, 3 foot by 10 foot balcony, private patio, backyard shield, sand color. That's what it says. I don't have a price on it though, guys. Okay, and I've been getting belts, all right? <laughs> Lots of them. Yeah, this one I'm sure will sell with no problem. Yeah, that's the buckle. Let's see. I don't see anything on it. Oh, here we go. Let's see. Genuine leather lined. XL. Hmm. Okay. That is pretty though. I like that. Yep. Okay, let's get that back in the little plastic bag here. Okay. And now here we got a little backpack purse, I believe it is. Animal print. I don't see no markings on it. It's got the strap on the back. It's it's like a... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, it's adjustable. Let's see. We got a pocket in the front. Zippers work like butter, as, I, <laughs> as my little bud, Jamie, says. Okay. And... Let's see, I don't see anything. There's a little pocket in here. And then you got a, um, the main compartment. It's brand new. I'm trying to see if I got any tags in here. But I don't see any. But I do have the little, uh, what do you call that thing that they stick in here? The little packet that your dog ain't supposed to eat. <laughs> It's in there, but I don't... Let me see. Oh, okay. Let's see. Hand wash only. 100% polyester. No brand name. 
but it is cute. Uh, let's see. Wow. Let's see what this is. Ah, uh, that's a little doggy jacket with a hood. It's a hoodie for a doggy, and it'll probably fit Yoder. More than likely. Yeah. Hey, that's awesome. Cool. Yoda, you got a new coat, buddy. Yeah, I don't think Dad's so. got to put it on you so we can try it on you. There's no holes for his legs. Oh, boy. I just got one of these, guys. And it's online. And there's another one. These are camera bags. And it it's a backpack. And, um... Let's see here. I got one in the last thing that we had. There's a pocket back here. And it goes all the way across. And then you got your straps. And then let me see here. The front. Yeah. See, I got... It's a little bit different. Now, the insides look about the same. But, you know what? There's so many of these on eBay right now. So, they're by Mas... 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 Uh, I can't say it, guys. I'm going to show it. Show you the name. You probably remember last time I got one. But that's the name. Masimoto. And... This one, I think, is a little bit bigger than the last one I got. I'm not sure. But they got pockets on the sides for your, um, whatever you want to put in there, like your film caboodles or whatever. They got a little pocket here. It, it's really neat. It really is. And I guess I should keep one for when I start doing my other videos. Yeah. That's the inside I just showed them. So, anywho, yeah, I'm just wondering if ThreadUp got, like, a whole thing of these. Uh, because it's kind of strange for me to get a second one in the next box. So, we'll see. And here, we got, these are new socks, but no tag. And they feel like wool. And I don't have a size, but I can bet you it's 9 to 11. More than likely. Um, yeah. That's okay. I always get socks. And I got a pair of gloves that are extra small men's gloves. So, yeah. Heat cool. 32 degrees heat. Men's gloves. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, so guys, this looks just almost like the same box I got. Yeah. The last one, because check this out. I didn't get, maybe I did. Hold on, I'm not going to say nothing about this yet. All right. Bows. I have a whole bunch of bows in this bag. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. This is the this is a little bit different one. But anyway <laughs> I don't know guys. I guess this is part of a fun box. Mm -hmm. All right, so we got a bunch of bows. All right, I'm going to let you put those in, Bert. Right, sure. Okay, and we got the same shoes as we got in the last box. This is going to look just like the last video. <laughs> oh, okay. These are size 10, so I'll probably keep them because there is a crap load of them on eBay as well. So these... I, I'm getting two more boxes. They're supposed to be here this week. Oops. I hope it's not all the same. Mine, I hope not. Mine will just send it back. Because that's just not right. Send it back. Let me fix my ear here. 
I got to go get a lip treatment and an ear treatment. Oh, I don't goodness. want a facelift, but I want my lips back. And I want my um, my earlobes to be filled up so the earrings just don't fall out. So I'm going to try to get that done. Maybe I'll have a video done while I'm doing it. What do you think? Okay. So, I don't know, guys. I, I just think I'm going to keep those because... I don't know. We'll see. Here's the little thing for the socks. Those are cashmere socks. Those little brown ones. Yeah. Cashmere blocked stripe socks. So that's the little brown socks that... Oh my goodness. And here's another headband. Stina Resells. Go check out Stina Resells. She does a lot of unboxings. She's my hairband lady. I got a bunch of hairbands going out to her. <laughs> she can collect them now because they're all different. <laughs> well, guys, I don't know. I don't even know what to say. Let's see how many pieces we got. So we got one with the headband. And this is brand new by Lily Sado. I think that's what it says, if you guys can read that. That's one. Two with the twin shoes. Three with the ten hair bows. Four with the camera bag with the hard side on the back. Oops. Five with the little hoodie for Yoda. Yeah. It'll be too hot now. No, it's for winter. And six with the little shoulder bag. Seven with the gloves. Eight with the print belt. The animal print belt. Nine with my reading room. <laughs> yeah, I guess I could put this outside in front of the door. So, because the mosquitoes love me. They'll eat me through tons of off. <laughs> and I can't be in the sun a long time anyway because, I don't know, one of my medicines that I take makes my tan accelerate. So, I could be there 15 minutes a day for a week and... I'd be tan. <laughs> okay, what was that? Nine. Nine. Okay, so then we got our cashmere socks. That bird stuck back in here that's not fitting right, but there we go. So that's the cashmere socks. So we did get ten pieces. So guys, let me know what you think. <laughs> I already know what you think. But anyway, um, can I sell this? It's going to be kind of difficult. It's going to... I don't know. Should I sell the bows one at a time? Three at a time? I'm confused about that. Um, I just don't know. Because there's the shoes. There's so, so many pairs on eBay right now. And mine's on there now, too. And then we got this. Only it's a different size. These are 10. The ones I put on were 11. They're nice shoes, but there's the market's flooded with them is what I'm saying. And it's flooded with the camera bags, too. You can go check out eBay. So you really can't get what they're really worth to me um, because there's just so many. you got so many other people to compete with. So this is what we're going to do before I give you a story if I have one. <laughs> all right so tomorrow we're gonna have a, a pop-up video because my sister-in-law from california sent me another box of jewelry so i'm going to do a pop-up video for you guys tomorrow i'm going to try to do it about eight o'clock and usually i upload it earlier because my signal's terrible because we live by a train and they're going and going all the time and then it blinks it out so i try to get it up for you guys as soon as i can um 
but that ought to be fun. And uh, I have two more boxes coming from Thread, from Thread Up that are fun boxes. I'm just hoping they're not exactly like this one and the last one. Um, what else? I got Goodwill sending me... What was it? I got um, two apparel boxes. And... I can't remember. I got me something else. I was trying to get jewelry, and I don't know if I got it or not. I can't remember. I'm going to try, if not, to get another one. But, um, I can never get thread up jewelry. I mean, I can sit there and sleep and bing, check it all the time, and uh, it, it don't work. But I can see why it was so easy for me to get these last couple of fun boxes, because they're putting the same thing in all the boxes. I don't know why they're doing that. Um, but anyway, do I have a story for you guys? Just my story that I'm going to go, um, talk to the plastic surgeon over here and find out how they inject your lips and like what it does and how long it takes and do you have to get it redone every so often, you know, questions like that. And, uh, the reason I want that done is because it's very hard for me to wear false teeth. And one reason is because I was on some hormones back in the day that they had given me that were, that they give, they gave a lot of women. And they affected your bones instead of helping your bones. So I had the patch for two years before they found out about that and they took me off that patch. But in the meantime, my teeth went bad just like that. I mean, I took very good care of my teeth all my life because I had to work. So, you know, I went to work dressed nice and I went to work uh, with my teeth brushed and everything, makeup, if you can believe it. But right now, I can't do makeup because my lips are sunk in because I have no teeth because they pulled them all out at the same time. And when I went there, that's the only way I found out that by taking this certain medicine for hormones uh, or hormone replacement therapy or whatever you want to call it, that it affected your bones and it can really affect your gums, the bones in your gums. Well, when I went in to get them all pulled out that day, they made me sign a paper that I had taken that medication in case I would have bone fragments coming out of my gums. Well, I did. And I still do. And I had my teeth taken out in 2016, I believe. And ever since then, I just can't wear dentures. They never fit right. They, you know, the people who made them the last time anyway, they didn't fit right. But, um... So, I tried to wear them if I'm going somewhere special and that usually don't work either. So I want to be able to put my lipstick on. I have wore lipstick and cheek stuff all my life and I haven't been able to put my lipstick on because of the way my wrinkles are and because of the way, you know, I had real pretty lips. I did and now they're sunk in because of the teeth and the bone fragments that are still coming out of my gums. So, it's very uncomfortable to try to wear dentures, and God knows I can't afford implants. So, you know, maybe someday if I win the lottery. So, for right now, I'm going to be toothless, and I'm going to have to eat slowly so I don't choke to death. And um, I'll let you know what they say. Uh, they do a free consultation, so I'm going to see what they say and how much it costs and get all the ins and outs on it and we'll go from there that's our little story for today and don't forget tomorrow night we're going to have a pop-up jewelry video and let's see wednesday i'm hoping we can do a timu video we couldn't do it on the last bag that i got because it wasn't worth doing a video so uh because there wasn't nothing in there it, it would spread out and different bags or something so I'm still waiting on that um 
and I don't remember what that other Goodwill thing is that I bought. I don't think it's a purse box. But anyway, we'll find out when I open it, I guess. Um, for now, give me a thumbs up. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed because we have a lot of fun here and we're both loony, you know. And um, make sure you ring the bell. Got the bell, Bert? Oh, I had to wake him up. Hold on. There's the bell. Make sure you hit the bell so you get all our videos. And we will see you tomorrow on the with the jewelry opening. And by the way, if you guys can do it, I would totally appreciate this. If you can go to my, before you go to bed, if you can go to my, um, my channel and hit my picture, my icon, and hit playlist and let my videos play all night long while you're asleep, just turn down the volume. <laughs> Because I need to get myself monetized. I really do. So, that's how you can help out my channel. I love you guys. We'll talk at you later.